Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. This weekend we're up at Lithgow. We're up here for the October long weekend. So we've got three days of camping and four wheel driving. Now the weather's not putting it out for us. It's currently about seven degrees. I'm in two jumpers and a beanie. We were rugged up. It's uh, borderline raining, foggy as, cold, wet. <laughs> it's just it's just not the right conditions, but we haven't been camping in a while and we're like, no, nah, let's just go. Um, and fingers crossed we're all good. I'm gonna do this as a bit of a three-part video or something and we're gonna go start on wombat holes and then I think we're gonna head up the power lines track, Ranger Bob and make our way over to uh, Swedish steps or Spanish steps. So yeah, we've just dropped the tire pressure down to 20 psi that should do us to start and um, we're gonna warm up the cars and then jump around to the wombat holes which is just down the road. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> I can't believe I got up that. So last time we were here, I don't even think I got past the first little obstacle because I just flexed out and couldn't go anywhere. Push the magic button, and bloody hell. This three grand is really paying up to be the best mod I've ever put in. And it's making me really want to put a front one in. <laughs> but that'll be later down the line. But yeah, absolutely stoked. If you guys are running any IFS cars, um, and you seem to struggle like I used to, save up and put that rear locker in, or front, whatever you want to do, but I just preferred the rear. And um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely changed the game for me. So that was Wombat Holes. It's basically just off the side of a main trail. The main trail you come in on is State Mine Gully Road. So it literally takes you, if you go into the Glowworm Tunnel, um, it's that road, so you head straight out, but this is just off the side, so it doesn't look like much. I'd suggest looking on four-wheel drive earth. That one shows where all the tracks are and just pinpoint it on a map and you're good to go. But yeah, it's um, it's directly off the main trail. It's got a main road right there. It's just this little thing off the side. Doesn't look like it in videos, but it is. And um, yeah, heaps of fun. Have heaps of fun on it. So there's one step there on his right. 
easy. Turn out a little bit, out. a lot from here on so you get that one step and then it's been packed out with a lot of rocks. Yeah come my way a bit more. This is the power lines truck where Moon Rock is. Moon Rock is the one all out there. You can see a Hilux or something trying to go up it. He's been struggling a little bit, but he has made it slowly there. There's another 10 cars waiting. There's a guy stopped on the chicken track. Because it is so wet, it's currently raining. Because it is so wet, I don't think we're gonna have a crack at uh, Moon Rock, which is a bit unfortunate, but we'll come down here another time when it's dry and give it a go. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, he's very close to rolling it as he slides down the hill. We've been standing here for about 10 minutes or so, so far, and no one's going up except this one guy. Um, the old mates blocked the chicken track, and um, yeah, everyone else is just waiting to go up. So, so we're not wasting any time. We're going to skip this. You can get back on the main road, come back out, and uh, just dock back into the track. So we're now about to start Ranger Bobs. This is the incoming, so there's a little bit of a flex down which you would have just seen, um, and then it gets easy as you get to the base here. Last time we were here, um, I got up to this section and I said if I couldn't get up the first step, I'd take the chicken track. I probably rules apply the same. We'll see if we can get up. Oh, it's actually looking a bit worse than it used to. So I think there's a chance we might be taking the chicken track on this one. But um, yeah, Ranger Bob is pretty much rock steps.
Okay, you won't fall. Five yeah. grand rev dump, you'll be right. <laughs> Five grand. Ranger Bob's done. Uh, as you've seen, we had to both had to winch at the end, which is a good thing because usually it's I'm winching, Bailey drives everything, and now that the locker's in, this thing is a lot more capable, or well, still just as capable as an unlocked patrol. But you know, it, I'm getting better slowly. But we got up, no damage that I can see. I was very, very worried about the tie rods. I was struggling to steer so much, but it looks like we're okay. I do have um, tie rod sleeves on the car at the moment. I'm not 100% convinced on them anymore. Um, I actually want to remove them because I'd rather a tie rod go than my rack. 
But yeah, anyway, we're gonna continue on and see where else we can get to. The, the diff's um, anchoring. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're getting hung up on the diff. Oh. It's 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 because it's um traction control still on. Keep going, no! Keep going! <laughs> straight up in front of you, straight up! So, what's your uh, heart rate at? Yeah, she's up there. She did turn right and went. So, she just <laughs> come right up and then she's like, nah, <laughs> I want to redo it and just went straight in a hole. Three <laughs> wheels up. I thought the car was gone. Oh, far out. Your car weren't me. Well, you too, but bloody hell. She was trying to dodge this this um log here <laughs> and it's just gone I yoink a little, and then straight up there. She just powered through. <laughs> And my brakes at the moment are not very healthy, so you know, as soon as she hit the brakes, she probably just slid straight off the edge, and the whole back wheel just went pop, and it was like, oh yeah. fuck, oh my god, that was terrifying. I hope I got that. I think I turned it off as I was about to come up because I thought you got up, and I was like, yes, yeah, wait. Oh. Oh, all right. Well, 
we're finished up at range of, we're finished up out of range of Bob sorry it's been a couple of hours we've um, set up camp got a fire going got some firewood it was raining so we were freezing and, um, and it was about time to get a fire going and sit down and eat some food and have a good night so for the tracks today I would say they're good for you know your moderate four-wheel driver or someone who's got some slight mods uh, going out to the lost city there was a few completely bone stock cars out there there's chicken tracks around mostly everything um, and yeah anything difficult yeah you just go around it really um, otherwise it was on a downhill so you just slide into it and away you go but everything else I'd probably say just have some slight modifications you know tires and a bit of a lift um, a winch is always the best thing to have because it's just safe it's just a safety um, and now obviously you don't have to try the tracks we were trying today we tried to do I wouldn't say the hardest tracks but a harder than like the chicken track um, or the easy track around so if you're worried about that sort of stuff just come out and explore and worst case you just got to turn around and go back but a lot of the tracks out here seem to have a some sort of chicken track style thing around it and heaps of them you go 200 meters and then you duck back to the main road 200 meters duck back to the main road like there's just heaps of tracks everywhere out here if you look at an off-road gps map or anything like that you'll just see them going everywhere anyway that's going to end it for today and this video so i hope you guys enjoyed if you got any questions for me just let me know down below otherwise yeah i hope you enjoyed and i hope you get out here and explore yourself all right i'll see you guys in the next one catch ya